Hey guys, it's Nicole from ConvertKit. Today I'm going to show you how to create a link trigger um, which when a subscriber clicks, they'll automatically be tagged in ConvertKit. So let me show you how to do this. I've gone to the automations page and I clicked add new rule. That takes me here where I get to select my trigger and my action. So the trigger that I want to select is click the link. Now the name is optional. Um, it's for internal use only, but it's designed to help you pick from a long list of um, link triggers so you know exactly which one you're using. So I'm just going to call this one, just say tag example, and I'm going to use ConvertKit as my destination URL. All right, so that's my trigger. Now I want to select my action and I'm going to do add a tag. So I can select a tag from, um, from these options or I can actually create a new tag right here. Um, so I can say example tag and then I just click save rule. Now, let's say I'm sending out a broadcast and I want to know more about what my customer or what my subscribers want to read from me. So I'm going to send them a link trigger and when they click it, they're going to be given this tag. All right, so let's create a new broadcast. All right, so I'm gonna, let's say I wrote my email and I'm asking my subscribers to click here um, so that I can know a little bit more about them. So I'm gonna highlight the word I want to be my hyperlink text. I'm gonna click the link button right here and click insert link. And then I'm gonna select um, a link trigger from this option right here. So let's see, here's my tag example that I just created. I'm gonna select that. So now I can see that there is a lightning bolt symbol. It says tag example, the name of my link trigger here, and then I cannot edit this link. So all looks good. Click insert. And a quick way to check and make sure your link trigger is set up properly is when you click into the link, you'll see this little lightning bolt symbol right here. That's how you know you've selected the link trigger. Um, if, for example, so I'll clear the trigger here. If I just put in convertkit.com, my destination URL, without selecting the link trigger over here, unfortunately, it's not going to work. It's not going to add a tag to my use to my subscribers. So I want to make sure I select it from the drop down. And there we go. So now when a subscriber gets this email, if they click this button or they click this link, then they are automatically going to have a tag applied to their subscriber profile. Now I can send them customized broadcasts. I can add them to specific segments. Um, it makes it really easy to understand who my subscribers are better and what they want to see from me. Another great use case is uh, custom unsubscribe links. Um, which I will link to in the article below. All right, so that's how to create a link trigger to add a tag to your subscribers. Um, as always, if I missed anything or you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at support at convertkit.com. Thanks for watching.